Hey, good morning. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video and share some insights around some of the tools and techniques um, as to how you optimize your advertising and how we approach this sort of uh, thing in the digital marketing world. So I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, it was kind of a cool little insight, but I wanted to share um, first, I'm going to kind of cover the high, high view here on my handy dandy magic doodle pad. And what we're talking about here is an advertising funnel um, on Facebook. So this is a Facebook ad funnel. And my current process, my goal is to um, basically work out and optimize my offer. Um, as you know, there's a million and one different ways to say the same thing. And so I'm just trying to use advertising uh, to figure out what is the optimal message, right message for the right person at the right time and place, the master marketing equation, correct? So um, I am running, um, if we look at this here, I am running the FB ad. And this has basically, you know, the two uh, parameters are in the analogy I like to use is the fishing analogy. You know, am I using the right bait? which is the right message, and am I fishing in the right pond, which is the audience. And so right now I'm kind of just focusing on this bait piece of the puzzle. This goes to a landing page uh, with an opt-in, which goes to a recorded mini webinar, and um, which then leads to an application. So this is the funnel that I'm working on right now. And obviously the goal is to get uh, applicants and, and sales, right? So I'm at this stage at the very, very beginning. And um, what's interesting is the tool set and, and kind of what I'm learning. Uh, so let me jump over to uh, the screen here and let me share. So this is kind of my documentation on a daily basis of, you know, kind of some of the information that I track and I'm happy to share all this with you later. But um, here's the day that I wanted to show you was on uh, May 27th. You can see that my ad spend went um, pretty significantly higher, you know, 30, 40% higher. Um, but here's the deal is, um, you know, I had, it had a much greater click through rate. So what that tells me is on this ad here, this is the ad that I ran. I'm, you can see I'm just testing different copy. But on this ad here, my um, my ad click-through rate went from 196 to 2.59, which is a really significant improvement. So if we jump back over to our doodle board here, that tells me that I finally kind of hit pay dirt with my bait. Um, and I'm not really testing the pond right now, but apparently at 2.59, it is the right pond as well. So I've kind of solved this equation over here. Now, if we go back to the data, here's the big problem is the prior ad had 18 leads on it. This one had two. Significant decline in the leads. So that tells me then, back to the doodle pad, that I've figured this out. This is um, for the win, uh, my favorite little athletic program. But anyway, um, tells me now that my problem is here. So I can continue to down the pipeline, down the funnel and continue my optimization process. But what I wanted to share with you, the cool thing about this today is that um, when, you're, when you're looking at your landing page, how do you make decisions as far as how do you know what the problem is? And so this is what I wanted to share with you. And so we're looking at um, this landing page, great click-through rate on the ads, but terrible landing page conversions. So what I use, which is pretty cool, and I'll share with you um, the results of this, but what I use is this free tool called Microsoft Clarity. Um, it's free to sign up, and then you just simply um, add the snippet of code to your Google Tag Manager, which you should be using. And um, it will, what it will do is it will record your sessions. So if I go into here, and this is the landing page here, the masterclass opt-in, and what we can do is we can start looking at the recordings here. If we jump back to the 27th, and this is the landing page here, and this is the actual recording of the user's visit. Let me jump to a different one. Um, 
But this actually is kind of like a scroll. Scroll. You can see the person's behavior, where they're clicking. You can see your headline and the text. And what I noticed on this is, uh, and through watching all the the users' behaviors, um, hopefully this will. I'm going to skip in activity here, and I'm going to bump this up to two x. What's happening is that everyone immediately. I had all these testimonials on the bottom of the page. And what happens is, is everyone was immediately jumping down. You can see they jumped down into all this copy and the testimonials, which then it's pretty obvious that that was purely a distraction from the goal of the page, which was just to get them to opt in. Um, and then after looking at you know numerous recordings here on the 27th, um, it was pretty clear that those testimonials were hurting the conversions of the page. And see, the first thing people do is they went straight down um, into those testimonials and they just got lost in there. It was way too much content. So the change that I made then is I said, okay, you still want the proof um, on the page. So I rewrote the page. I made the headline more consistent with uh, the ad copy, the winning ad copy, because I had that. But what I did instead is I took and um, basically just got rid of all the testimonials and just use company logos. So that's the current test. We'll see what happens. Um, but it, it keeps the focus on, hey, just opt in and get the message. So um, anyway, that was kind of the, the, the neat little lesson learned. Um, hope it's helpful to you. Microsoft Clarity is the tool that I use for that. It's free to use. And um, so if we, let me wrap this up here back. So I have this Check, check, that's good. Next step is getting the landing page optimized. And that's what I'm working on right now. Step after that is make sure the mini webinar is converting into applications and boom, once that funnel is all complete and everything is meeting these minimum benchmarks, now I can go out and start turning up that dial, putting some money behind it and scaling the ads. But if you're out there trying to scale ads and you're not following this process, you're probably wasting a lot of money, time, and effort. So hope that was helpful. And uh, please, you know, let me know if these are helpful. I'd love to hear more from you. Uh, thanks. Later.